Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sport tonight. Come and subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So, once you've finished watching this video, in the description box there is an article with Eddie Hearn where he talks to talk sports. So, go over there, give it a read if you like. Then, of course, come back here and uh, drop yourself a comment as to what you think of everything that Eddie Hearn has said. Now, in this article, which um, I'll read out his statement in a second for you all, that he's saying that he will not stop with the WBC until him and Dillian White get justice. In other words, he's been 600 days as number one currently, and there's no world title fight in sight against Wilder or whoever the champion may be. They want a time frame. When is Dillian White going to get his world title fight? Because been 600 days never in the history has anybody been number one for that amount of time and not been given a world title fight so what they are doing to Dillian White is in my opinion very very dirty all right but anyway we'll get straight into Eddie Hearn's statement and then we'll have a lip um, a little bit more of a chat about it so this is what Eddie Hearn had to say there's a lot going on with the WBC I think the offer from the WBC, which is a final eliminator, is an interim world title fight. That's all fine, but it's more about the timings. This week marks 600 days that Dillian White has been WBC number one contender. It's incredible. So we are saying when? We are not waiting 800, 900 or even 1,000 days. So our campaign is that the winner of Wilder against Ortiz should fight the winner of White versus Rivas. Or if not... Give us a time frame. We are doing absolutely everything and we will not stop until Dillian White gets justice on this because I think the WBC are fair people. Mauricio Suleiman is a boxing guy through and through. I know he's been a bit upset by some of the comments, but they are nothing yet. We have got to get our way and we are not even asking for a favour. We are just asking for what is fair. And we thank the public for their support on this as well because it's important. Diddy White has stepped up and fought everyone. This Rivas fight is a very tough fight on July the 20th and is a must-win fight that I believe will have a lot of on the line in terms of the WBC position. Eddie Hearn's statement. Now, of course, he's saying that Mr. Solomon, he's a boxy man through and through and the WBC do act in fairness and whatever. That's fine. I think that uh, you know he's saying it. He's just pandering them up. He's softening them up a bit. But... Anybody who watches this whole situation, let's be brutally honest, it's disgusting what they've done to Dillian White, making him wait all this time, allowing the fact that Dar um, Wilder would even send Dillian White personal DMs and say, I'm going to freeze you out for two years and there's nothing in the world you can do about it. It's disgusting. You're supposed to have one mandatory every 12 months, but yet Wilder's had two mandatories in four and a half years. You know, you do, you do the math. It doesn't quite work out, does it? And, but Eddie Hearn is, is correct. They're not asking for a favour, they're asking for what is right, what is fair. When you look at Dominic Brazil, he didn't have to take on any final eliminator to, to become mandatory. But Mane Stavern, when his fight with Povetkin fell through, they just installed him as mandatory. When Tyson Fury had that fight with Wilder and uh, uh, Tyson Fury got screwed on points, the WBC ordered a rematch straight away. He wasn't mandatory, but they ordered it straight away and even offered Tyson Fury... 40% rather than the usual 30% just to try and make that fight So they can do it all but yet yeah, they haven't done it with Dillian White and and that's all they're asking for is to be fair Mr. Osterman, listen, he may not like it But the fact is just because Dillian White is an Eddie Hearn fighter and not a PBC fighter Doesn't mean you can do this if you want to talk about justice You want to talk about integrity and all these things that you've been talking about for the past few days Then this is what you need to do now, as far as the comments go on social media, what, what Eddie Hearn is talking about is a lot of fans have been going at Mauricio Suleiman. And yeah, a lot of it, yes, they do come from my videos, that's for sure, where people will go straight over to social media and start bollocking, if you like, Mauricio Suleiman. But nobody wants anybody to be insulting Mauricio Suleiman. Obviously, get your point across, but there's no point going in about his wife, his kids, and all this kind of thing. I mean, you know what? That's just ridiculous. But the thing is, people are frustrated. Whether you're a fan of Dillian White, whether you're not, whether you think Dillian White beats Wilder, or whether you think Wilder beats Dillian White, it makes no difference. All people want is this fight. Wilder should not be allowed to do whatever he wants. There are rules in place for all sanctioning bodies, 
And if sanctioning bodies want to create these rules, then abide by your rules, follow your own guidelines. Dillian White should be next. Now, as far as the Wilder Ortiz fight, obviously, this, this, listen, that's a rematch that nobody wants to see, but when Eddie Hearn said that the winner of that fight should fight the winner of uh, White Rivas, but what if Luis Ortiz does win that one? Should Ortiz fight Dillian White, Oscar Rivas? I think we, we do have to be fair on this one as much as, listen, I would love to say, yeah, Dillian White, go fight Oscar, um, after you defeat Oscar Rivas, go fight Luis Ortiz straight away. I would love that to happen. But to be fair, because Wilder did give Luis Ortiz a voluntary, so if Wilder does lose, he should be allowed to have the rematch straight away. For me, that's a champion's prerogative. I mean, I mean again, that, that is my honest thoughts on it. But listen, I think that uh, John Taylor Wilder is going to win that one quite comfortably. I think that Dylan White has a much harder fight in Oscar Rivas. No guarantees in anything, but touch wood, he come through that one and can move straight into a world title fight. But even if it's not straight away, at least give him a time frame. At least let him know when is this rematch going to happen. Don't be changing the goalposts. Say, right, okay, we're going to call this. So in December, you will fight for the WBC heavyweight world title. Whatever happens, you will fight. So at least then Dillian can make his mind up. Is he going to have another fight before then? Or is he going to wait it out, train hard and get into the December fight? Whenever it may be. Um, if that makes any kind of sense. So anyway, I mean, that's my thoughts on all. As said, Eddie Hearn's statement is in the description box. Um, absolutely correct. There's no way he should be 600 days and not be given a world title fight. In fact, it's not even in sight at the minute. Even if they did make White versus Rivas for the mandatory, that's all well and good. But how much longer is he going to have to wait? Considering Wilde's only had two mandatories in four and a half years. No excuses for it really, is there? I know there were circumstances, but still no excuses. They could have made adjustments here and there, but they chose not to, is what it is. Anyway, but first things first, Dylan White's got to concentrate on Oscar Rivas, July 20th at the O2 Arena, on a card that's looking pretty damn good, with Dave Allen versus uh, David Price. You've got uh, Rika Pore versus Billiam Smith. You've got um, Derek Chisora against um, Arthur Spilka and a few others as well, with uh, the likes of Dan Aziz on the card as well, so excellent stuff. Anyway, look forward to that one. All this talk, all of this build-up, all this thing about WBC and mandatory and fighting Wilder is no good if Dylan White don't win. That's the only important thing right now, is him winning. Anyway, you drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.